Algebra 2 cram, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Trigonometric Function Basics, Unit Circle, Concept Number 3, Quadrantal Angles, 0 Degrees. The odds of someone doing exactly what you tell them to do is pretty slim, but I guarantee that if you cram with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 master. What we're doing here is so effective. I'm coaching you to turn your wants or desires of getting an A or perfect test scores into a new paradigm. I want to include everyone who needs a boost in Algebra 2. If I could stick every math student with a syringe containing a healthy dose of eye-opening awareness of their inner mathematical genius, I would. So inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order this complete cram session. You have lots of pairs, classmates, and colleagues who could really benefit from this cram session as well. So be sure to spread the word and tell them to inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com so that they too can honor this complete cram session. You'll want for them to have this knowledge because they'll make great study buddies. Class, the concept of cramming often has a negative connotation, but what people are actually thinking of is hurrying, which is a result of fear and can consequently be destructive. We're not hurrying here, we're cramming. There's a difference. Hurrying is jam-packing tons and tons of unorganized information into your mental or spiritual DNA over tiny amounts of elapsed time, whereas cramming is taking quantum leaps in your understanding in what seems like an instant. All right, so let's delve into the concept of the unit circle in quadrantal angles, specifically zero degrees. Trigonometric values for the quadrantal angle zero degrees. What is the exact sine, cosine, and tangent value for the quadrantal angle zero degrees? Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. And don't forget that a quadrantal angle is an angle with its terminal side on the x-axis or y-axis, such as 0 degrees, 90 degrees, and negative 90 degrees, 360 degrees, etc. I'll give you a little bit more time. Again, press pause if you need to. All right, let's get into this. So in the previous cram session, we established that the unit circle has a radius measurement of one unit. That's why it's important for you to purchase the entire cram review session. And this greatly simplifies finding trigonometric values. First, because let's say you have a point here, P, okay? And it's the point of intersection between the unit circle and the terminal side of this specific angle theta. Then the cosine of theta is going to be um, the value for x, and the sine of theta is going to be the value for its y-coordinate, okay? And why might you ask? Um, because let's say we were to resolve this uh, angle this terminal side ray into its x and its y components, what you would get is the formation of a triangle, specifically a right triangle, something that looks kind of like this. And we know from basic trigonometry that um, for any side opposite an angle, that's going to be the sine. And the side that's adjacent to the angle is going to be the cosine. I'm not writing theta because you're going to have too much lag time. We don't want this to take forever. But um, in uh, Cartesian coordinate systems, the sine is going to be equivalent to basically the y coordinate divided by the hypotenuse, which is usually referred to as r, signifying the terminal side ray. So let's go ahead and indicate that. 
I think you see where this is going. And uh, in Cartesian coordinate systems, the um, cosine with respect to the angle theta is going to be equivalent to the x coordinate divided by r, which is the hypotenuse or terminal side ray for this acute angle in standard position. Um, this is an aside standard position. Standard position is when an angle has its vertex at the origin, the initial side ray is on the x-axis, and the terminal side ray is somewhere out in the quadrant. Okay, it's an acute angle in standard position. And for such angles, again, the cosine is going to be equivalent to the x-coordinate, which is the same x here, divided by r, which is the measurement of the hypotenuse, or the longest side, of the triangle, or the terminal side ray. But here, our r is equal to 1. So that works out nicely. And here, our r is also equal to 1. So the sine of theta, or whatever angle we're looking at, is equivalent to y. Or the cosine of theta is equivalent to x, OK, when we're dealing with um, unit circle parameters. Or we can even extend this beyond unit circle parameters, but that's another cram session. So be sure to inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to purchase the entire cram session. Okay? Let's get rid of all this mess. All right. This means basically, based on what I just showed you, that the coordinates of the points where the unit circle intersects the x-axis or the y-axis can be conveniently used to find the trigonometric value for all quadrantal angles, okay? So here we're specifically dealing with the quadrantal angle of zero degrees. And since, again, the unit circle intersects um, where the radius is equivalent to one, that means the x value for 0 degrees is going to be 1, and the y value is 0. And these coincide with the cosine and sine values. Therefore, we can find out the exact sine, cosine, and tangent values. Remembering that the tangent value is a derived quotient, which is basically the sine divided by the cosine, OK? So we're going to start off with our cosine value, and that's going to be 1, nice and easy. Then our sine value is going to be 0. And then since the tangent of the angle theta is basically the um, sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta, 0 divided by 1 is going to yield 0. All right, so this table demonstrates our overall answer to the question. Okay, so intellectual comprehension of this material was not difficult at all. And after the short amount of time it takes to complete this entire cram session, you'll be prepared to answer a battery of questions about Algebra 2 concepts. Again, inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order this complete cram session. Good luck studying and thanks for tuning in.